Okay, so here's a little take on Bill Berry's style of drumming in R.E.M. And he was their drummer during most of their big hits uh, that you've got on your playlist. And the thing that I notice about him most of all is that he, he really stays more of a timekeeper, much more like a Ringo Starr in the Beatles. Didn't do a lot of fancy stuff, but the things that he did throw in were kind of interesting. So what, what the way I look at it is he starts off, these, uh, this, this goes out to the one I love, um, you know, the... Uh, the, the snare part is really just real tight and precise. It's not like, you know, it's not like that, but it's more. You know, nothing more than that. Just short little bursts of notes maybe, you know, two beats long at, at most, like one, two, three, right? Three and four uh, would be as much of a, of a drum fill as he does. And then, there, of course, there's the very, very famous uh, End of the World song, which really, it's tempting to throw more in, but he really doesn't. He just keeps it really straight. So that he does this thing where, he, uh, where he's doing four. Right? It's tempting to want to throw that in, but I really think he... And it's probably even a little faster than that. And maybe even a bass drum at the end. Is that one more time. All right, and it'd be harder to... Can't quite do that. Got to keep that hi-hat on a quarter note groove when you get to a certain speed. Otherwise, you'll start to drag trying to keep up with the hi-hat. So I don't think that he does that. Uh, Mr. Barry just keeps that one cooking. It's just a fast one, and it's a good for you know good endurance test uh, for you as a drummer as well to see if you can make it all the way through that. And then um, other things that I noticed, like um, like losing my religion. There's uh, you know what he likes to do sometimes is substitute a hi-hat for a tom. So he'll play something like this. Right, right there during that song, uh, you know, losing my religion. He just tends to throw in little tom hits instead of the hi-hat and it makes it kind of a, an interesting thing and then every once in a while too instead of playing hi-hat he'll move over to the floor tom so i would just consider all these little things that i've mentioned in the video that you know it's just kind of a general way that that this drummer bill berry plays and uh, there's other drummers that will have certain distinctive styles right like the the foo fighters with dave grohl or taylor, taylor hawkins uh, for sure, you know, a little bit more intricate, more powerful sounding drums, but nonetheless, it's, it all just fits. I think Bill Berry's drumming fits REM perfectly. It's the sound that they needed uh, at the time. All right, good luck.